My name is Emily Dahl and I am from Dallas, Texas. I started noticing that my hair was getting thin on top uh, around the age of 16. And we went to the dermatologist and I was diagnosed with androgenetic alopecia. My dermatologist recommended a few things and she also recommended that I wear hair or wear a wig. And at the time I was horrified at, of the idea of, of wearing hair, but it took me about 10 years to come around to that idea. My hair loss stopped me from participating in a lot of things. Um, I, I even remember being at an, an amusement park and being embarrassed because I was down below and having people see the top of my head. I was self-conscious about dating. I was self-conscious about going to the pool with friends. So yes, it, my hair loss definitely did get in the way of me living my life to the fullest. So if I could go back and tell teenage Emily, I would say, Go do some research, look and see what you can find that will work for you because there are incredible options for any sort of hair loss you may have. There is a solution for it. And you will feel whole and complete and beautiful and confident again. Well, it's funny because I think I, I hear from a lot of hair loss ladies that they are mortified to go out in hair or they're scared or they don't like the way it looks or they're particular about something about it. When I put that thing on my head, I hadn't had hair in so long that I was happy about. I felt like a movie star, even though the topper wasn't quite right for me in the long run, but it was just the, I felt beautiful in that hair. Um, and I wore it that very same day I got it in the mail. A long time ago, maybe about six or seven years ago, I heard a girl mention it on a, on a blog that I was looking at. And I didn't even know what that was and I didn't think I would be a candidate for it because of my hair loss. But the more research that I, I did and the more I looked into it, I, I realized you can wear a topper um, even with hair loss like mine. I prefer to wear toppers. Um, I like having the versatility of being able to put it up. Um, and I think for a person that's just entering the hair, hair uh, alternative hair industry or, or looking into that, it's a little less scary than wearing a full wig. Coming here has meant so much and learning about John Renault. Um, I, I have bought John Renault pieces for the past two years and it is so amazing to come here and see the team behind these, one, these, these hair pieces that I wear every day. Um, it has meant so much to me to come and, and be a model and, and participate in this wonderful campaign. And, and in the long run, I, I know and I hope that it will help others out there to see what can happen if you go looking for the right hair piece. When I first started wearing hair, I, I tried to find a piece that I could feel comfortable in every day in every circumstance. But now that I've, I've had a couple years in this, in this world, I am more open to changing my look. And I love going for new lengths and new styles and new, new colors. So I, I am open, bring it on, I'll try it all. I wore a piece earlier today where I had a ton of hair extensions in and I never thought that was something that I could do or would want to do, but I was, I was surprised how comfortable it was and how happy I was with the look. And I felt very confident and I, I had va va boom, curly wavy hair and I just loved it. Being here and trying different pieces uh, in human hair has been so much fun because I can see the versatility that you can have with human hair and how amazingly silky and wonderful it feels. Um, it's better than any hair I had when I had hair.